السلام عليكم I'd like to welcome you to uh, Mr. Quick's online video lesson. Take, take it out now. <laughs> okay, all right. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I know about some of you having your tutors to do your homework for you. Well, let me tell you this. You can fool some of the people some of the time. You can even fool most of the people most of the time. But you ain't going to ever be able to fool all the people all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in some cases, some of your papers may display 100, but you got a zero in the grade book. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, in other words, stop letting the tutors do your homework. Stop doing it. Make use of the tutor in other ways, you know, more beneficial ways, okay? Because believe it or not, your tutors are doing it wrong. Do you even look over it when the tutor does it? And you say, well, I trust the tutor. That's why I pay him 100, I mean, 100 pounds, maybe 50 pounds for it, right? Well, I'm telling you, tutors ain't doing it right. Very interesting. Very interesting. I think uh, if you're having some issues with uh, the selections, you need to come talk to me for 20 minutes during break. It'll be a little more effective, actually a lot more effective than... Adios is very sick and my sister has the money we need to buy her medicine. I should take the money from you. Sure, sure, we're not done. Come on in. Party time. Your sister's... Okay, argue about it at home. <laughs> okay, well, <clears throat> as I was saying that, you know, I'm here for 20 minutes. It may be, it may be a little more effective for you to come talk to me than have it to do it. Maybe. I mean, I'm up to you. I know you want to, you know, party with your friends for them 45 minutes, but just take a little bit of party time out to come talk to me. It's completely up to you. Farewell to Manzanar. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Everybody read it, right? Well, you did the selections. I hope you read it, because now here's the big test. And I guess the big test starts with the very difficult questions. And who's the author? Okay, what's the focus? Okay, so now that we got the difficult questions out of the way, now we can get down to some other. You didn't read the selection? Why not? Huh? That's not an excuse. <laughs> okay, so we, we're going to come to these questions later. Now let's deal with this, this first question. Who is the author? Yes, James, Jen, James and James, and who? Jenny? 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 Two men or two women or what? Two men? Oh, husband and his wife. Okay, all right. That uh, clears that up for us. Okay, all right. Information about the husband and wife author duo. Because you looked up information because you knew I was going to ask you that. So you already did that. Okay, homework. Everybody. Homework. Information about the author. Who got it? She don't have it. No, no, I asked her. So I just, you know. she I, Consensus means that, you know. I tell you, I asked somebody else. Uh, ask her hand and give me information about the author. See, I tell her. I mean, you know. It, it, we'll have enough time to go to each person. So every, homework in the bin tomorrow. Thank you. No, no, sir. I come to you. You got a question coming. So don't worry about it. Let's do it with this question then. Here we go. Build the background. You remember I told you where it was, and remember I told you it didn't have anything to do with what's you know in the selection. Tell me about the background. It was in World War II. Okay. All right. American Japanese. 
Okay, all right, all right. Uh, okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Now we got the easy stuff. I'm going to ask some questions now. Verbal quiz time. Because now it's time to get busy. Okay, here we go. What is the focus? Memoir. Okay. What is it? Uh uh. Save that. Yo. Yo. Let Yo do it. What is it, Yo? See you at break. You gotta come talk to me at break today. Can't, can't, can't let. What is it? What is it? Didn't you do the selections? She. But. What? You did selections. Well, you did enough to know that. Okay, see you at break. Okay, uh, 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 uh okay, all right. Uh, okay, oh, mm, Mayor, Mayor, uh, she's not here today. She's not here today. Uh, boy. Okay, uh, Miss, and we just talked to Miss, okay, Miss uh, Engie. Tell us about memoir. Come on. Did you write it down? You remember I told you that's the second thing you're supposed to do is write down the definition of the focus in your notebooks, right? Right? What is it? Speak up, speak up louder. Form of nonfiction where the writer recalls significant events in his or her life. Did you get that? But you already have that in your notes, right? Okay, actually, I agree. Yes, it's a form of nonfiction in which writers recall significant events in his or her life. The, oh, and uh, we're going to go over our own passage, so we don't need that. Okay, so that's it. But now, that's not it, because we have to apply, we have to apply the what? Now what we're going to do? What? Whoops. Now what we're going to do? Oh, we did it anyway. Now what we're going to do? Huh? Uh, what we're going to do now? How was the focus with being the story? How was it? Uh, Omar, what are we going to do now? What about the focus? No, no, she answered the focus, what the focus is. I want to know what we're about to do now. I want you to tell me what we're about to do. What are we about to do, Lena? How does the focus relate to the selection? You might want to remember that question. You might want to remember that question. How does the focus relate to the selection? And that's what we want to talk about, so let's talk about that. You ready? Yes, the focus is what? Engie. Memoir. And what is memoir? Hmm? What'd she say? Hold up. Let me see. What'd she say? What'd she say, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hassan Magdi? You don't know? You don't care? What's today? What's the date? What's the date? Date. The date. What's the date? <sighs> okay, here we go. 23 what? <laughs> Very interesting. Now, nah, 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 let's, let's try to relate the focus to the selection here. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Just before leaving Terminal Island, Mama had received her first letter from Bismarck, North Dakota. He had been in prison at Fort Lincoln in an all-male camp for enemy aliens. Aliens! UFOs! <laughs> aliens! So this was like an alien attack on a city? Yes? Huh? Independence Day, you saw that with Will Smith? Did you see it? Did you see it with Will Smith? The aliens, that's what they're talking about. They put all the aliens in the camp. Yeah, right? Very interesting. Yes? So this is science fiction then? No. No. Even look, she said, an all male camp for enemy aliens. So they put all the aliens. This is science fiction. Hmm. 
Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lena, this science fiction? Huh? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Do you agree? You don't agree? Well, what is it then? Wait, what? Don't try to influence others. He can have, he can make, you can make your own decisions, right? Yes, okay. So, tell us about the enemy aliens. What planet were they from? What? The Zim gods are aliens. What are you talking about? This is about the same city. Well, what are they talking about aliens for? No, I don't know what no aliens. Well, why did they mention aliens? An all-male camp of aliens. What's that about? Huh? Non-fiction? Well, why the hell are aliens going to be in non-fiction? That makes sense to you? Usually it's in science fiction. Not fiction. Aliens, yeah. What, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Your? Redeem yourself. What are they talking about here? Aliens. Aliens. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. See? <laughs> you cleared it up for us. Do you have something you want to say? Yeah. Uh, they're talking about aliens. They mean that Japanese people. No. They mean no. The, the, the enemy. The, she's considered them as aliens. But she said Japanese people, right? No. Oh. Japanese people. So the Japanese put the Americans in a camp. No, no, no. Help, help up. Wait a minute. Let Miss I mean, I think she was on something. Explain it to us, Miss Amir. You said the Japanese. Come on. There you go. That's all I needed. That's it right there. Wasn't rocket science. The enemy aliens were the Japanese Americans. That's what you were saying, right? There you go. Just. I don't know. You tell me. I know. Miss Amira knows. So you have to find out for yourself. Uh, Miss Amira, she just uh, redeemed herself. Re redeemed herself. Okay, all right, here we go. All right. Now, Papa. Papa, big Papa, big big uh, the uh, uh, Biggie Biggie Smalls. Her oh, her daddy. Okay, all right, all right. Papa had been the patriarch. What's that? Wait a minute. It's his word that tenth grade should know. Someone raise their hand and tell me what it means, because you do not go past words as you read that you don't understand until you understand it, right? We agreed that's what we were going to do. And we were going to write those words in our notebooks, right, Omar? Yes? So that we can learn definitions, right? So what do it mean? Okay, okay, take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. Look back. You know what it means? Why you get your hand up? Impress us. Tell us what patriarch means. No, I don't. You know what? <laughs> look, look, look. Wait a minute. News flash. And this might shock you. Mr. Quick, don't speak Arabic. So you're going to have, and don't understand it either. So you're going to have a really hard time in here. You might want to tell your parents. I'm telling you, I'm not. I can't explain anything to you in Arabic. Unfortunately, so you might want to tell your mom. Say, can you believe this? I got an English teacher don't speak Arabic. What? <laughs> uh, it's a joke. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Y'all had enough time to fill it around. Now, what does it mean? Raise your hand. Somebody tell me. One that's the head of a family. Yes? The leader of a family. 
Responsible person? Anyone else? Yes, yes. A friend of the family. Okay. All right. I like leader of the family. Or the, usually it's the oldest person, is, you know, somebody. Or the most respected. Or the one who got the most money. <laughs> That's what it is sometimes. Uh, huh? Yeah, sometimes the father. Or grandfather. Because sometimes he run everything. Yeah. Yeah, the oldest, usually the oldest, most respected person. Yeah, the one that everybody go to for money. <laughs> okay, I, at any rate, he had always decided everything in the family. With him gone, my brothers, like counselors in the absence of a chief, worried about what should be done. Why are they worried about? What's all this? Okay, hold it, hold it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Why are they worried? No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. The ironic thing is, there wasn't much left to decide. These were mainly days of quiet, desperate waiting for what seemed at that, at the time, to be inevitable. What does, that's a pretty big word. What, what's that word mean? Inevitable. Wait, raise your hand. Inevitable. What is that? What is it? I lost it now. Uh, 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 here, here it is. Inevitable. What does it mean? Okay, look at that. Look at that. Anyone disagree? No? Doesn't it mean like you can't be seen? Oh, that's invisible. Okay, all right, all right. Just wanted to make sure. There is a phase the Japanese use, a phrase the Japanese use in such situations when something difficult must be endured. And what was that? What was that phrase? What was that phrase? You didn't write it down? You would hear the older heads, the Issy. What's that? Issy? Issy? What's that? You wrote that down, right? You wrote that down. It had a, a three by, beside it. You didn't write that word down? Okay. All right. Telling others very quietly. And this is Japanese. Uh, I don't speak Japanese. Okay. She, she, Gakagani. <laughs> That would it sound. That would it look like. Okay, yes, it cannot be helped. It must be done. That's the phrase. Yes. Okay. So I'm worried now. You got me worried now. Kind of like suspense. Not really, though. What's going on? Why is everybody worried, concerned? Daddy is in jail in some camp with aliens and. And, 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 and everything is just going crazy. Mama saying it can't, it, it cannot, it, it cannot be helped. What's that? What's that? What's she so worried about? Uh, Hasa Magdi, what's going on? Didn't read again. That's okay. That's okay. No problem. No problem. That's not a requirement. Uh, yes, sir. What's going on? Think, hold up. Hold up. Lena, what's going on? Who? Who was at war? I don't see nothing about no war here. They're at war with the alien. Oh, okay, okay. So who's at war with the Japanese? The Germans, right? Amira? Germans? Russians? Who's at war with the Japanese? What? Americans? Ain't nobody say nothing about no Americans here. They said it in the story. They ain't say nothing about Russians. Angie? You don't agree with that. That's good. That's good. They said Russians, didn't they? No. Oh, okay. All right. Is it Russians or Americans? Okay. You agree? All right. Oh, it was the gang war. You say L.A.? How you know they weren't gangs back in what? <laughs> huh? Well, Japanese were the famous angels and Oh, the Japanese had gangs in LA. No. They had a gang war. No. They had a war with America in LA. Yes. They wanted to the Americans they used to hate the Japanese. Oh, so this is like a historical event. Really? 
Okay, here's some notes. In this passage, we find a good example of the focus in the recalling of the letter received. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We forgot something, didn't we? I need an example of memoir in this passage. Look at the definition. Okay, tell me about Master Handy is going to do it for us. Yeah, yeah, just show us the example and then tell us how it really. Which one? I'm sorry. This one? Here? Okay. I, you didn't say anything. Did you say it again? The Patriot. That's it? Anyone disagree? You disagree? What other one? Okay, and that's an example of what? Explain to us how. Right. I guess. Maybe. Probably. Yes? It is right. It's not right. It is right. Okay, so we're talking about some historical then. Okay, this is turning point, turning into a major event in the author's life. We just said that, yes? And we know what event it is, right? Yes? Yes? Okay, well, we know, we read the selection, we know the author's side, so let's hear the other side of the story. Yeah, we're going to hear the other side. You want to hear the other side of the story? Okay. So, <laughs> I hope you took some uh, some good notes on that, so you can see how how beautiful it was. Because the authors they 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 made it seem not beautiful, but it was beautiful there, right? It was beautiful on the video, right? Yes. Is that how the author made it seem in the story? In the selection? She, yes. The author made it seem beautiful in the story in the selection, right? No. No. But it was. They, we just saw the video. Right? Yes? I think it was very big. Let's read some more of the selection here. Okay, we're looking for examples of memoir. Uh -uh -uh. Like so many of the women there, Mama never did get used to the latrines. It was a humiliation. She just learned to endure. Uh, not gonna get me anyway. Okay. This cannot be helped. She would quickly subordinate her own desires to those of the family or the community because she knew cooperation was the only way to survive. Well, that's not how it was on the video. The, the author must be lying, right? Yes? Yes? That's not how it was on the video. Right? Ian? Yes? No, no, she. 
No, this. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Almost made me want to go there. <laughs> What? So why why are they lying like that? The author and stuff. They... <laughs> the video. You saw the video. <laughs> you saw the video. What are you talking about? Anyway, let's keep uh, let's keep reading. At the same time, she placed a high pre premium on the personal privacy, respected it in others, and insisted upon it for herself. Almost. Everyone at Manzanar. Did you see Manzanar in the video? They showed it. Did you see it? Yeah. Manzanar had inherited this pair of traits from the generations before them who had learned to live in small, crowded, con in, in small, crowded country like Japan. Anybody ever been to Japan before? I always wanted to go to Japan. No? Huh? Malaysia first, then Japan. Malaysia first, then. Okay, at any rate, <clears throat> uh, yes, but well, I want to go to yeah, my wife don't want me to go, though. She don't want me to go. Can't tell you why. <laughs> because of the first, because of the first, they were able to take a desolate stretch of wasteland and gradually make it livable. We saw that in the video. We saw that in the video. Very interesting. Yes, yes, okay. But the entire situation there, especially in the beginning, the packed sleeping quarters, communal mess halls, the open toilets. All this was an open insult to that other private self. A slap in the face. You were powerless to challenge. How could they say those things? We saw the video. Wasn't that bad? You even saw people smiling and waving as they were on the train, right? Yes? See? Wasn't so bad. Huh? They'll be what? They thought that they would be very pleased. The author making up things. Yeah, but the author is making up things. The author said that she was happy, which was the way she was going. When she got there, she became the truth. Oh, so you think they were tricked? Yeah. They thought that it was going to be. Oh, wow. Yes. Hmm? Yeah, yes, different point of views. Okay, well, focus. Give me an example of the focus here in this passage here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, go ahead. Where we at? Oh, right here. Okay. Hmm? Go ahead. She just learned to connect. This cannot be her. Right. Okay. That's an example of. Mem yes. Communal. Communal mess hall. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, all right. Look at the definition of memoir. Look at the definition. Let's make sure that we're picking out something in the selection that uh, goes with the definition there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, right here? Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, in memoir, it's actually describing the event, right? It's actually describing the event. Yes, and these, uh, somebody else did the second sentence too. These are, uh, 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 yes. Yeah, that one includes the writer's opinion. Who said that? Feelings. Feelings, yes, yes. And how did, how did she feel about what was happening to her mother? Humiliated. Humiliation. Yes. Okay. Excellent. We don't have to, you know. Yeah. 
beat, kick the dead dog. We can just keep on. And this pastor, the author, witnesses, witnessed how this event affected, not affected, affected other members of the family. You don't want to write that now? Okay, no problem. Yes. I don't want you to, I don't want to force you to do anything you don't have, you know, you don't want to do. Look at the, looky, looky here. Looky, looky here. Yes. Look at this. Vocabulary. <laughs> it's a uh, vocabulary. Ironic. Inevitable. Humiliation. Premium. Inherited. Communal. We know these words. We already know these words. You don't even need to write them down because you already wrote them down. Okay, no problem. Uh, Lena! Ironic. What does it mean? Huh? But you, you, I thought you wrote it down when you was reading. Huh? Oh, interesting. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh. Uh, okay. Miriam. Marianne. Marianne, right? Inevitable. Inevitable. Asser Hanny. Inevitable. Why don't you tell me that? What is it? Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, uh, humiliation. Anyone disagree with that definition? Hmm? Oh, okay. Take that same definition. <laughs> Relax. Take that same definition and tell me what humiliation means. You, you told us humiliate. To be humiliated. It hurt it. It hurt. Wait, okay, all right, skip that. Premium. Premium. Uh, inherited. You something. But you used the word to, to give me the definition of the word. Relax. Communal. Going, well, you know what? I'm telling you, we're going to do a surprise vocabulary quiz. Tell you what, the er person who believes that this wasn't set up by our own government is an idiot.